Drums? More drums? Yes. This time it's Slate Drums 5. I'll be covering the details for those of you who have used Slate Drums 4, and also for those who haven't before. First, let's have a listen. Nice. So the new Slate Drums boasts some new kits and cymbal setups, as well as an improved engine with a slightly easier to use interface. It's also boasting a more lively sound for the older instruments, which is probably a combination of velocity filters and tone shaping among others. So the older kit pieces do get a boost from it. There's also a livelier feel to the new kits. And on that note, I want to talk about Slate Drums' approach to sampling drums. The kits in Slate Drums 4 always sounded fine. They have that signature Slate slam to them. But you may get this feeling of them being slightly cold sounding or even plastic sometimes. With Slate Drums 5, specifically the new kits, That coldness has finally been surpassed and the new kits feel much more real. Why is that? Well, it may astound you at how simple the answer is. These new kits actually come with a snare bleed channel, which is something Slate Drums has neglected to provide in every previous kit. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason Stephen Slate has overlooked the importance of the snare bleed in this library for years. Having the snare's reaction to the kick and toms is crucial in getting that real drum sound that has been provided by other libraries in the past. It just baffles me that someone like Stephen would choose to ignore this for so long in Slate Drums. All of the drums do sound great, but every other kid in the library will always have this perceived coldness to it. Personally, it doesn't bother me that much. 
because I use a lot of drum libraries, so I mainly use slate drums for layering on other kits or getting a sharp tone for industrial or metal music. The new kits are really nice though, and they're a little more detailed than the original kits, so they're suitable for different kinds of rock, funk and even jazz. They're a solid addition to the already large library. Of course, you can also take advantage of the new library's snare bleed channel by dragging in the new kicks or toms and layering them with the old kicks and toms, then turning all of their mic sends down except for the bleed channel. This will give you that snare buzz on the older kits. Cool. Now, we have to talk about Slate Drum's mapping system. Oy. Either I'm crazy, or the email for Slate Drum's 5 about having a new and improved mapping system that's easy to use was a misprint. Slate Drum's 4 always suffered from one of the worst remapping systems ever. Slate Drum's 5 continues this tradition spectacularly. I have never had such an awful headache trying to get my custom maps to work with different kits, let alone the horror of having to click on every articulation I want to remap and drag it around the screen to remap it. There's no MIDI learn function for anything. You have to do it slowly and manually. And there's two different types of mapping modules that can't even get along with each other. If you use the kit mapping, you can remap the standard mapping by dragging only to realise you can't save that mapping as a preset. It only saves with the kit. It gets worse. If you use the core remapping function, it reinterprets the core mapping. You can save a preset with this. But if you then decide to change something using the kit mapper, it won't know or display where things actually are, and becomes a puzzle. Then if you remap something to the same key as another sample using the kit mapper, the core mapper groups those articulations together and won't let you separate them unless you use the kit mapper to pull them apart again. Are you confused yet? I'm halfway through. There is no way to copy an articulation to another key so you can have two keys with the same articulation. So you have to drag in a second instance of the kit piece into an extra slot, which you then have to fiddle with in the mapper because every articulation for that kit piece gets loaded and mapped. And even if you resort to meticulously remapping everything and counting your steps one by one so as not to make a single mistake, and then save the preset, the moment you load a different kit, everything gets muddled automatically and you're back to square one. You basically have to save every single custom kit with a remap that you must map every single time you make a new kit. And once they're saved, you can never separate and resave that kit from the first mapping without manually remapping and saving the kit again. <sighs> okay, I'm done now. But I'm tired. I have never come across a library with such a convoluted, time-wasting remapping system in my life. It's genuinely awful. I am relieved, though, to tell you that you don't have to rely on it. Code FN42 has a free note mapper plugin that allows you to open it as a VST, send your instrument track through it instead of through your keyboard, and it'll remap everything for you. Granted, you have to drag note mapper in every time you use slate drums, but after running it through note mapper, a sense of sanity returned to me once more. For the benefit of those who have the library and want to use the plugin, I've provided a few logical custom maps for you to use straight off the bat. I'll link you to the presets in the description. Just chuck them in your note mapper presets folder. Now, this whole ordeal isn't a deal breaker for me. Note mapper is easy to set up, and many of you will likely just stick to the default mapping anyway, which is fine. For me, the drums is where it's at. As a Slate Drums 4 user, the upgrade is affordable, and the new kits sound better than the older ones in my opinion, so I'd recommend it wholeheartedly. For those of you who aren't familiar with Slate Drums, you'll enjoy the Slate Drum 5 Deluxe Kits and the Legacy Kits. So, here's what comes with it.
As you can hear, clear smacking drums, and as I mentioned earlier, the coldness won't be to everyone's taste, but if you don't mind the sharp sound, you'll have plenty of drums to enjoy here. There's a good selection of biting kicks and snares that you can use to layer on your other kits, and if you're a metal or pop composer, the transient quality of these kits will prove useful. Plus, the Slate Drums engine loads the kits into memory four times faster than Superior Drummer. Blink and you'll miss it. All said and done, this collection is pretty damn solid for the newcomer. And those who already have Slate Drums 4 will love it, because the upgrade is affordable and the new kits are rewarding to get your hands on and play. And that's that. I'll see you next time with another library. Check in later.